Hi, this is Sahana. In this session, we are going to understand eager loading in Entity Framework Core. We have already seen how to add, delete, update, and query individual entities. When it comes to related entities, we have three different approaches to load related data. We have three different ways to load related data. They are eager loading, lazy loading, and explicit loading. Look at this employee entity. This entity has relationships with other entities. This entity has one-to-one -one relationship with employee details entity. And if I open employee details, again, here we have one-to-one -one relationship with employee. Look at this piece of code. Here we are trying to access employees. Then we are trying to access related entity that is employee details. Now I will run this application. Let's see what happens. We have an error object reference not set to an instance of an object. This is because in this case, employee details is null. We have loaded employees, which is not null. But if you expand employees, this object has values for all the properties. But when it comes to related entity, that is employee details, it is null. As we discussed earlier, there are three approaches. Let's understand eager loading. Eager loading is a technique used to load related entities along with the main entity being queried in a single database round trip. In our example, here employees is the main entity and employee details is the related entity. With eager loading, even employee details will be loaded along with employees. Next thing is how to implement eager loading. Eager loading can be implemented in Entity Framework Core using the include method or the then include method. In this statement, we are loading employees. With eager loading, we are going to load employee details while loading employees. Now, after context, we are referring to this employees. Now, I, I will say include. What to include? We want to include employee details dot employee details. Now this include method will include employee details as well. Now if we try to run this application, we should not get error. See, we are able to display employees along with their details. Here we are using include method to load related data. Let's see one more example and let's understand how to use then include method. In this application, Employee and project are having many to many relationship and this employee project is the joining entity. Look at this piece of code. Within this for each loop, we are trying to display project and all the associated employees. So what we are doing here is we are considering these projects as the main entity and then we are loading dependent entity that is employee projects. Then again, we want to load employees. So we are calling this then include method and we are loading employees. Then we are calling this to list method. This way we are using include method. Then we are using then include method. Let's run this application and see the output. See, we are able to list our project name along with associated employees. In short, the include method allows you to specify which navigation properties to load and the then include method enables you to include further related entities. Few of the advantages of this approach are improved performance. The reason is it can reduce the number of database round trips required to retrieve related data. Second advantage is minimize network traffic. This is because instead of sending multiple requests to the database for retrieving related entities, you can fetch them all in a single query. Some of the disadvantages of this approach are increased data transfer size. This may result in a larger amount of data being transferred between the database and the application and overfetching of data. Sometimes it can result in unnecessary data being fetched from the database, wasting resources and impacting performance. Eager loading is one of the simplest approaches to load related data. I hope the session was useful. In our next session, we are going to understand one more approach to load related data. Thanks for your time. See you soon in the next video. Thank you.